Hey there, Libra. Welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Libra placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and you switch the roles. Take what resonates. Libra doesn't um, fit for your situation, guys, for someone else. Um, where am I at? I just lost my train of thought. Okay, thank you guys so much for your love, your support, and your donations. I'm sending you a lot of love and light and happiness on your journey. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. And please be aware of the fake pages that are on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay, guys. Um, so let's see, Libra. I'm not showing my face today. Okay, don't get mad in the comments. I know y'all like when I show my face, but honey, I'm just not in the mood today. <laughs> okay, so, you know, here we are, but your, your messages are still going to get out. So, it's not stopping the show. So, let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm Libra and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones are turning back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Libra collective. And protect me as I channel the messages here for Libra. So, let's see, Libra. Let's see what your messages are today. Okay, so we have secrets here. So it says hidden truth, avoiding, deceit, lies, dishonest, betrayal, cheating, wearing a mask, secluded, unveiled, confidential, and mystery. Okay, chosen. It says divine mission, authentic leader, a guide, powerful old soul, warrior spirit, calling strength, connection with spirit, and the red pill. And we have the ace of pentacles in the reverse. Lack, growth, instability, poor, scarce poor scarcity insecurities greed broke struggle delays lack opportunities so libra this is just giving me maybe this could be an energy where you are um hiding your gifts from the world here libra you could be lying to yourself about who you are like maybe some of you guys are just not accepting the fact that you're chosen and you have a higher calling on your life here okay but this could be maybe somebody else around you that could be hiding certain things from you Okay, but if you're chosen, I feel like you you have these gifts and abilities to see through the bullshit. Okay. You could be gatekeeping like a gift though that you have for some of you. Okay, child, what I said. Spiritual gifts in the reverse. Yeah, unaware of gifts. Pain, grief, out of alignment, little faith, blocked energy, imitator, ungrounded, anxious, stress, and copycat. Okay, so there's somebody around you that's abusing their spiritual gifts or trying to do something to you to cause you to um, block out a spiritual gift that you have that you need to hone in on. This could be something that's actually blocking your finances. Whatever somebody is doing to copy your energy or to um, do whatever the fuck they're doing. Uh, okay. Let, let's just see. What's what else? Okay, yeah, uh, child. Akashic Records. It say you have access to infinite database, the ability to unlock secrets from the past, present, and future. You have access to great wisdom, healing, info, and psychic connections through grounding and purification. Okay, yeah. And then we have moving in the reverse. Sudden change, unexpected eviction, loss of home, job, car, discontent, miserable, toxic environment, kicked out, drama, and no peace. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. And then we have Letting Go in the reverse. So maybe you could see someone around you that has certain gifts and things like that, but they don't see it about themselves. Okay, yeah, Page of Pentacles. Somebody could be a reader or someone is like into earth magic or some sort of divination practices, the occult of some sort. But um, somebody's finances could be fucked up right now. Somebody's going to have to move out or, or they're getting kicked out or there's going to be a, a sudden change to someone's finances okay let's see though someone here 
could be copying you. Okay, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. Someone could be copying you here, um, Libra. <laughs> you have a copycat in your damn energy. Let's see. What's the secrets here? Two of Cups. What secrets here? The Six of Wands. Leo Jupiter. What secrets with the Six of Wands? Page of Cups. Yeah, Ace of, Ace of Swords. So I feel like you have a good idea here, Libra. There's something that you are tapping into. There's going to be some sort of like breakthrough possibly in how you creatively like express yourself with the Page of Cups and the Six of Wands. This could be like a gift here that you're keeping quiet. There's something that you have that other people don't know that you have, but when you get ready to pop out with it, people are going to be shocked. Okay, whoever is mimicking or mocking your energy, trying to copy you and shit like that, they're not going to be able to copy whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> okay, like what whatever this is here, they don't have the power to do whatever this is. If they're trying to copy whatever this is, it's, it's like it, it, it's, it has your energy imprinted on it. They're, they're not going to be able to do it like... They're just not, whoever the fuck this is, okay? This is, could be getting ready to bring you a lot of recognition, rewards, success, a lot of, um. I feel like whatever this is is going to, yeah, help you level up here. Page of Cups, this could be like an, a, uh, I just heard like a graduation, so congrats, or this could be like an event coming up. Okay, some of you guys could be in a relationship as well. There could be like a date or something or you have a lot of suitors coming towards you, but they could be hiding shit, so be careful. Okay, they could be being dishonest or whatever. But that page of cups is definitely creative expression. It's listening to your inner voice. This could be somebody could be an author, okay? An author, I meant. I said author. <laughs> an author. So somebody could be publishing a book, okay? Their first book, so congrats. Or you could be, I don't know what you're tapping into, but someone could definitely be, be like an artist, I just heard photographer, a painter, or you could be a reader here. You could do something spiritual, whatever, but you're chosen to do whatever the fuck this is. Chosen with the Akashic Records. This could be something you were doing in a past life. This could be like somebody apologizing to you publicly here. Okay. I mean, if the disrespect was public, I feel like the apology needs to be public too. Shit. Um, yeah. Yeah. The, the moon, the high priestess, and the page of wands, child. You were born for whatever the fuck this is. Yes, the temperance, six of cups. Okay. Whatever this is you do, this could be very spiritual. Yeah, six of pentacles. You guys could be saying 666. Six, six. Someone here is very, very gifted. You, okay, I feel like it's you. But you had a star. Exactly. Um... Someone could be saying 333, three, three, I just heard. Okay. Some of you guys could be giving birth to a child. Okay, so congrats. Or this could be like a proposal. Somebody could be proposing to you and they're keeping it a secret. <laughs> so congrats in advance, child. Um, what's this page of cups? Okay, the page of wands in the reverse. So you could be kind of like sitting on an idea, Libra. The page of wands in the reverse talks about someone that's not taking action, someone that's lacking like creativity, or uh, this could be just fear. Like they don't have the confidence to do something. So you could be sitting on an idea. It's, it's nothing but a dream right now. So that could be what could be holding you back here. You're hiding your true nature from the world, but the world needs you. Yeah, three of pentacles, ace of wands. They need to see something that you're that you your gifts is meant to be shared with other people. Um, someone could be trying to avoid someone. Avoid someone doesn't want the attention of someone else. Someone is trying to like um apologize to someone or reach out to somebody but they're not getting through the page of wands in reverse too is someone's behavior that's like very predictable they're somebody is like when they don't get their way they act out they're very childish so well let's see what's the page of wands with the i mean what's the page of cups with the page of wands in the reverse 
Okay, yeah, Seven of Swords. Somebody... Yeah, whoever this is here, they're lacking creativity here. They're lying about something that they're doing. I feel like somebody, somebody's like very predictable too with what they're doing. Or this is you. Maybe there's something that you do. Somebody here studies your routine. They they study you. They watch you. You could be in the public eye. Yeah, it's something weird going on like that. <laughs> Someone could have an Aquarius moon here. But someone could be mad because someone is not reaching back out to them. They're not getting their way or whatever the fuck. Okay, and somebody's trying to leave or walk away from somebody because they're annoying and they're a copycat. So what's the, what's the six of wands? Yeah, the Hierophant. Yeah, some of y'all are teachers, your leaders, your spiritual gurus. Okay, you have a lot of knowledge and wisdom here, like ancient knowledge, ancient wisdom that you get celebrated for. Okay, you could be done with a Taurus Libra or you got it in your chart. Some of y'all are definitely getting married. Congratulations. Like dead ass. I feel like somebody... <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting this energy of a surprise party or a surprise like... Somebody's going to pop the question like all of a sudden. It's going to catch you by surprise because normally maybe maybe... Somebody is like, somebody is trying to make it so their, their movements seem predictable to you, but they got something else up their sleeve. 11.33 on the clock. I mean, on the timer, you guys could be seeing. This could definitely be like a surprise engagement here. Wow. What's the Six of Wands with the Hierophant? I'm picking that up too, along with the other fuck shit that's going on. Yeah, the Four of Swords. Yeah, somebody like planning for their future. Okay. Or like contemplating something. Someone could have a Libra Jupiter. Okay. This could be you contemplating or, or trying to figure out if you want to, um, Put something out to the public or not, or um, this could be, I mean, just like healing, resting, recruiting. I said recruiting, <laughs> regrouping, recouping, I meant regrouping. Yeah, um, this is like peace, solitude. Some of you guys could be needing to create, create like an altar. I'm just, I just heard that with the Hierophant and the Four of Swords. Yeah, the Hierophant with the Four of Swords too. There's some knowledge here that you're sleeping on that can bring you a lot of rewards and recognition. And maybe you're hiding this talent. That's the problem. You need to stop hiding it. You need to put it out there. But I'm definitely getting... Somebody here too could be in the public eye. They could have... I don't know where they're getting their knowledge from. Or they could have knowledge, but they like to compete with other people. That's the problem. It's like, bitch, you're supposed to be in your own lane. I don't know, but it's like... um. Some of y'all are sleeping on your true potential here, what I just heard. And somebody else is like in your energy copying and doing all this weird ass shit. So I feel like when you pop out with something else, okay, yeah, look, the devil, the 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 queen of pentacles, four of pentacles, and the ten of swords. Yeah, whoever this is here, it could be a Capricorn, strong Capricorn, four of pentacles, queen of pentacles, and the devil. Yeah, they could have Gemini in their chart too. This could be like a reader here or somebody here could be a witch. They want to make it seem as though they're a white witch or they do good magic or they, they're they they're whatever, but they're, they're not. Okay. For some of you, um, somebody could be trying to like hex and curse like your finances. Okay. But this, whatever this is, right? If, if somebody is trying to do this, they're bringing up a shadow side to yourself. There could be a need for you to... Um, create more of like a, a a budgeting plan okay so get more organized with your work your finances um how you spend your money there could be a need for you to like save your money more really save your finances here or stop spending on i just heard miscellaneous shit shit that you really don't need stop spending okay <laughs> with the devil and the queen of pentacles but this could be like a materialistic um, like person here. Somebody that's in the wrong damn field. I don't know. But somebody is definitely trying it. What's um, the Emperor, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, I mean. What's the chosen card here? The, <clears throat> the moon. Yeah, it was chosen with the moon, Cancer Pisces. I feel like there's something hidden from an imitator. Okay, somebody that's trying to copy you, they're not going to be able to do whatever the fuck this is, I'm telling you. 
So all that shit about to come to a damn end. Yeah, the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So, yeah. Whoever this is, they play in your sacral energy a lot, man. They do. This person here is a thief of energy, just period. Okay, somebody here is hiding the fact that they lack creativity. Okay, or your, your intuition here could be telling you, um, Libra, that something here is becoming like boring or something like that and your intuition could be telling you to move into something else that you're knowing how to do here there is something that's hidden here about you this is a creative block here with the ace of wands in the reverse Javier Javier what did I say what did I say about the noise what did I say about the noise Yes, yeah, stop it with the noise. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, there, there's something that's hidden here. Um, or you're hiding it your damn self. But your intuition is telling you, though, that you, you have this, um, whatever this is, something has been delayed. Okay, or you could just be wasting like your talent here. Okay, this Ace of Wands in reverse, but your intuition is telling you to do something with it. Whatever this is, what's the moon? I feel like this could even be just like you deceiving yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like, you know, when magic comes up a lot and shit like that, it's to show you something about yourself that you're not doing. Okay, that's the only reason why magic even works in the, in the first place. That Black magic is because... It's a shadow side of yourself. If you're taken to that black magic, like it's actually working in your life, it's a shadow aspect of yourself that you need to see and work on. And then once you work on that, the magic will no longer work. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, Three of Wands, growth, expansion, this Jupiter energy. Yeah, it's time for growth and expansion. It's time for you to feel so for sure or confident about moving forward, moving on. Some of y'all are being called to um, travel to study. Okay, I just heard different cultures. Didn't mean to say that, but that could be what this is. Okay. Um, you could be being called to like move, I meant to say, like go to a different area, move to a different area. That moving to a different area could help you grow and expand. You're fated to do whatever this is. Okay, but what's the moon? That's just too many. That's like too many. It's <laughs> like I hate when cars come out like that. That's you, Libra, though. The Justice, the World, and the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Jupiter here. So, yeah, this is like, this could be like self sabotage, okay? Or this could be like fear, fear holding you back. Okay, but this is something that you're supposed to be doing with the justice and the world here. I feel like this is going to, this new beginning here is your karmic justice. Are you denying it? <laughs> okay, whatever whatever the cycle was from the past here, I feel like it's closed out and now you're coming into balance with yourself. This is like holding this completion, peace with this, you know, with this lady holding this peace sign here, or balance, this yin and this yang, okay? But the eight of swords is like something here keeping you stuck. I feel like it's your own mind. Okay. Or you just feel restricted for whatever reason. But karmically things claim this is happening. This has happened in a past life. Whatever this is. What's the eight of swords? The nine of cups in the reverse. And the seven of wands in the reverse. Yeah, so this could be two. Okay, the Empress and the Two of Cups. Pisces, Jupiter here. So the seven of wands in reverse talks about like not standing up for what you believe in, um, feeling like weak or burnt out kind of like energy. Nine of cups in the reverse could talk about like addiction. Some of y'all have like an eating disorder or a problem with like your food. Okay. Or there could be certain things that you're doing in your life that's not really helping you to grow and expand with whatever you're trying to create and build. So this could be like addictions here. This could have something to do with like how you're thinking as well. Nine of Cups in the reverse is 
somebody here feeling like miserable or unhappy this could be somebody else's ass too and your energy playing around but i just try to focus on you here really i'd be tired of reading about other hoes like nobody wants to read about their ass it's about you and your elevation who gives a fuck about these hoes and i'm gonna point it out but i mean it's just not of importance um There's something that you need to let go of or surrender. You need to surrender to something, whatever it is. Whatever the fuck it is. What's this? Yeah, the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords. I feel like, too, this could represent, too, whoever this is in your energy, bro, I'm telling you. Like, I mean, you can't really get away from it. It's, it's here. What's this Nine of Cups in the reverse? The Ten of Wands. Yeah, something. This could be like a lack of self-care. This could have a lot to maybe do with like your health, okay? Um, Or it could be any like kind of addiction. I don't know what the addiction is for you. Only you know what habits you have that need to be like, that need to be worked on. But that Ten of Wands talks about like maybe needing to ask for help. Some of y'all don't know how to delegate tasks or you don't know how to like really ask for what it is that you want or need okay um you feel like you can do everything on your own and you can't i feel like you're tired or this could be too like a lack of fun you know what i'm saying a lack of spontaneity something needs to die out because something is not working anymore for you whatever it is and it's keeping you stuck it could be the way that you're doing something only you know i feel like you know <laughs> but you know I'm hearing something about like routine or you just, you're overloaded with like certain things. Maybe you have a lot. Okay. Yeah. You have a lot on your plate. This is something though, from a past life that had you bind it back then too. 303 on a clock. It's, it's your, it's up to you to like break whatever the fuck this is. Okay. Some of y'all need a workout routine, an eating plan. Okay, maybe I'm hearing like maybe too many bills or subscriptions. Some of y'all need to cancel your subscriptions and shit like that. Like it's something. I don't know what. Only you do. It's different for every damn body. What's the Ace of Wands in the reverse? I feel like too, whoever this is too, this could be somebody from your past life that was doing this in the past. They were competing with you and shit like that. This person is miserable. They got a lot of shit going on. And I feel like they want to transfer this energy. Or they want to bind you to them so that way they can get what you're getting. I mean, yeah, get what you're getting and you get what they have. Okay, so maybe this is some sort of swapping energy. I don't fucking know. But I just feel like, you know, this ain't even your fucking energy. But I feel like if it's coming up for you, this could be something you're needing to work on too. These people are only a catalyst for your growth if you look at it that way. You know what I'm saying? So... And I feel like whoever's behavior this is, is very predictable. Like you already know, this person been planning your energy for a long time. Okay, somebody could be making fake pages of you and shit like that. So yeah, we have the three of wands here. So a sense of foresight, wanting to move forward, but it's stagnancy. It's like somebody's just standing here, they're waiting. Okay, this, this three of wands talks about feeling like self-assured or confident, you know, um, but something is like delayed. What's the Ace of Wands in reverse with the Three of Wands? Somebody, okay, yeah, the Knight of Cups. So this could be like following your heart here. The Knight of Cups is definitely somebody that's creative. Somebody could be a fashion designer is what I just heard. Okay, some of you guys could live at a distance from somebody that you're dating as well. There could be delays in a union with this person or them coming to see you or whatever. Um, excuse me. The Ace of Wands too in reverse. It's like some of y'all need to really balance your work life and your personal life. Like you're not supposed to just keep working, working, working and there's no play. Okay. Some of y'all need to go out. Okay. For some of you, I do honestly, I feel like there is a fucking, um, 
a union coming together as well. Like, you don't see any of this coming in. Like, somebody's going to propose to you or do something here. But there's a delay right now. There's a delay. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like too there could be somebody coming towards you that you're disinterested in somebody wants wants something to grow with you or whatever but with the ace of wands in reverse I feel like they're being blocked from getting in your way or coming towards you because you're just you're not interested that's not what you want to do or you don't want to be with that person okay oh okay yeah for some of you there's somebody in your energy that's disinterested in this copycat. This copycat is mad about someone wanting to grow and expand with you or be more diplomatic or follow their heart with you in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Like balance something out with you. Or this could be somebody wanting to date you or even just, you know, be more peaceful, more graceful, more kind with the Knight of Cups, more gentleman-like, you know, shit like that. Okay, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Somebody is at a loss here. Okay, somebody feels like they're at a loss here. This could be a loss of finances. Or somebody just feels like they... I don't know, child. Yes. Yeah, so somebody here is mad. Because this could be... Somebody's trying to use your energy to create something or build something with someone else's ass. It should keep coming out. But anyways... Feel like you're ready to follow your heart on something but you could be experiencing a creative block or this is this person that's trying to come towards you or whatever but what's the ace of pentacles in the reverse okay the lovers what's the ace of pentacles in the reverse with the lovers gemini energy the three of pentacles five of cups capricorn mars here Yeah, like this, I feel like there's just a third party here. For some of you guys, um, with the lovers and the three of pentacles, you could be going into a partnership, a union that's going to be like prosperous. You and this person are going to be working together to create something, to build something. I feel like you're putting the hard work in now. You could be in this now or it's coming in. okay to come together with this person or whatever this is to build with them this could be like a work partnership it doesn't have to be it could be love something in your energy is now balanced libra you've learned you've learned from your past mistakes so i feel like you could be going into a union or some sort of like partnership here that's causing someone else to lose out on shit you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying somebody planning your energy and shit like that it's like Whatever somebody else is losing is because they stole it. They're they're imitating you. That they're, they're not real. That this person doesn't have real gifts or something like that. It's like it's not. It's false. You know. What's uh yeah the five of swords? What's the three of pentacles here, spirit? The Daughter of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Seven of Cups in the reverse. Virgo Venus here. We got a uh, Scorpio Mars. So yeah, there's like a third party here. There's people working together or whatever the fuck to <clears throat> steal some shit. Excuse me, that's not there. Somebody's a scam artist. Okay, they're, they're a gold digger. They're a scam artist here. Someone here lives beyond their means. For some of you guys, if you've been overspending, I feel like that illusion or whatever this is is being cleared out yet so you can see clear because you need to stop doing that if you're overspending. Um, this could be somebody with a with a business here that's not successful too. All right, but someone here is definitely like a gold digger. This person could be a hoe, okay? Someone that's like codependent. Very superficial, seven of cups in the reverse. They're like trapped. <laughs> okay. They're trapped in their own shit, whoever the fuck this is. It's 
Somebody's like miserable. What's um someone could have like a sex addiction too or something? What's this lovers? Yeah, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. What's the lovers, Queen of Swords in the reverse? Okay. Yeah, the high priestess. Exactly. This person here is a loser. Okay. Like like dead ass. Someone here is a false high priestess or they're, they're talking bad about you. You're, you could be a high priestess. Yeah, we got the high priestess to the hierophant. So there's someone here that's bitter. They're real nasty, rude, malicious. They're gossiping. So somebody's lying about their own energy. This person here, man, they're trying to access some shit that don't belong to their ass. This person here likes to play on your subconscious or the queen of souls in the reverse with the high priestess someone here could be lying and saying that you're in the middle of something and you're not it's like somebody is saying that you're a hoe or you're the mistress here or you're not you're the false feminine you're not the right one or something something like that that somebody is saying it's like they're trying to give you their energy whoever this is somebody that's a bitter ass hoe whoever the fuck this is man What's this Queen of Swords in the reverse? Yeah, gossiping. Somebody here running their fucking mouth. Someone here's a liar too. They're a big cheater, a big time cheater. I feel like they overindulge in whatever this is. They just talk, 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 talk. Like somebody's just very insecure and very much so a loser. What's the high priestess? This person here... Yeah, the four of wands. This is you. I feel like that's you. This person could be on a stage too, but I feel like this is you. The judgment and the ten of swords and the damn three of swords, four of pentacles, six of pentacles. I feel like you're going through an awakening. You're going through some sort of awakening here where there was in a past life. I feel like with the judgment and the ten of swords here, spell work being done to you or you were made, you were like put up as a sacrifice here because obviously somebody is like trying to stop you from, um, being like chosen they don't want you to be chosen they don't want you to be seen they want your spot or something like that but you could be awakening here you're going through like a karmic test right now to see how you're going to maneuver through the spell work or whatever this is somebody doing somebody could be cursing and hexing your platform some of y'all if you're on the platform here or your union you could be in a twin flame union okay with the high priestess and the hierophant here as well as um whatever it is that you're doing like for work here Somebody is trying to hex and curse literally your purpose. They don't want you to like elevate. They don't want you to like, you know what I'm saying? Just learn any karmic lessons. They want you to be stuck and miserable like they slow ass. Someone can have an Aries Venus. So this person is losing shit. Or you could they could be trying to like delay your shit, delay your money. Never fails. What spiritual gifts in the reverse? Yeah. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Jupiter. What spiritual gifts in the reverse? Knight of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, somebody's like jealous. This could be a Sag Capricorn Cusper or something. But the, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is, is like jealousy. It's like somebody that, that got an attitude problem, bitch. Take that shit up with God, ho. Like dead ass. Someone here that's not a risk taker. Just very fearful. This could be you being fearful, but I don't feel like that's you. I feel like it's somebody else. Knight of Wands in the reverse is um lacking confidence here. Lacking like somebody doesn't have a sense of passion or zest for life. They don't they don't have a purpose. They don't know where they're going. Okay, like dead ass. Somebody could be reckless with their sex life too. Somebody's like juggling. This could be you if you're having a problem here, um, taking action right now. This could be you that's in fear, okay? But Spirit wants you to, like, stay open, stay flexible, stay adaptable, okay? And go with the changes here. You need to move away from any fear or this energy where you don't feel confident or something like that. You could be trying to, like, 
keep things afloat with your finances and shit like that. Somebody's competing with you. What's this damn Knight of Wands in the reverse? Okay, yeah, the Chariot. What's the Knight of Wands in the reverse with the Chariot? Cancer Energy. Yeah, and the Six of Cups. This could be somebody from your past competing with you. Somebody you got kids with or this bitch. They got kids with whoever this hoe is that's competing with you. One or the other. Or you got kids with this person. They got with a new person and now they're competing with you. It could be all kind of ways. Um, Scorpio Cancer here. So, um, I feel like as soon as you're about to do something, you stop. Okay. Like somebody just planning your energy child. Like seriously, someone could be getting child services called on them as well for being a negligent mother or father. Someone here is too busy trying to compete with you. They're not watching their damn kids. But the six of cups is definitely, um, gifts. I feel like you're very much so gifted. And the chariot talks about willpower being triumphant, um, determination, drive, ambition. Okay, when the cherry comes out, this is like a challenge here. But I feel like you're in, in, you're you're coming out successful, or you will be. Okay, with whatever this is, some of y'all getting ready to do something. Yeah, the emperor and the page of pentacles. You're getting ready to take action or jump in at an opportunity, or oh, this your damn emperor or something like that. But I feel like this is you getting ready to get it, step into this masculine energy and take action on something. What's the Two of Pentacles? Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, the Magician. Some of you guys are powerful manifestors, just period. Okay, you could be a practitioner. You could actually do magic. That could be what your calling is. Okay. Or you're a powerful reader or whatever you're manifesting. You have the tools that you need to do so. You have the clarity about which way to go, what to do. It's just all a matter of you doing it. It's time for you to do it. What's the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, okay, wow. When the Magician wanted to come back out. Okay, Spirit, what's the Magician with the Two of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you're moving away from somebody from your past, too. This person keeps thinking about you, and they got somebody competing with you. It's like, bitch, get the fuck out of here. But that Ace of Pentacles in reverse, though, is definitely like, yeah, a lack of um progress here or a lack of growth. Somebody's money could be stagnant. This could talk about, like, a missed opportunity. So somebody here missed an opportunity to do something here to you or take something from you or whatever this is. Okay, this could be, too... If you're struggling too with your money or something like that, I feel like something is going to come into balance for you. Stay open, stay flexible, and you need to fucking hone in onto whatever this is. Because I feel like this is honestly a competition in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Somebody put you in this shit, but I feel like, you know, this person is used as a catalyst for your growth. Yeah, somebody's like obsessed with you. They watch you. Okay, they, they watch you a lot. Okay, what's the magician here? It's like spirit put this person in place like this for you to elevate. That's it. So you need to, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. The slow and steady wins the race here. This is someone that's hardworking. They're practical. They are um, loyal. They're dependable. They keep promises that they are making here. They stick to something that they're doing. So whatever this is, you need to stick to it. Something is... is um, slow but it's coming through okay with hard work and dedication what's the ace of pentacles in the reverse yeah with that chariot out here okay yeah the sun in reverse somebody's like miserable <laughs> okay or this is, could be like having high expectations or high hopes for something but being let down leo energy this could be like ego not feeling too enthused about something. What's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? The Sun in reverse. 
the star yeah i feel like if this is you there they're just there's just a need to have faith here okay the star is definitely talks about faith hope optimism um stepping i feel like into your north node something is testing you right now libra you need to stay on track don't stop what you're doing. You need to keep working hard. You might not feel too enthused about something, but I feel like there's a need to keep going because it just feels like somebody is somebody else is like in your energy. They just it's like their inter energy inter is intertwining with yours. Yeah, the five of cups, five of wands, whoever the fuck this is, they're so fucking annoying. Yeah, ten of swords. Somebody keep on hexing and cursing and shit. Your spirit guide is here though with the king of cups. Yeah, the judgment and the ace of cups. You're awakening to a gift. You need to fucking get started on whatever the fuck this is this is about like your creativity with the king of cups here um you could be very much so intuitive like psychic okay and you have this gift that you need to embrace so something i feel like is balancing out with your energy I feel like somebody else's mess is going back to their ass. What's the Ak Akashic Records right here? Yeah, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Swords. That's spell work. That's spell work. This is somebody here that's doing a lot of divination spying. Okay, but this is definitely spell work here on your Akashic Records. Something that you were doing in a past life. Yeah, somebody was trying to sacrifice your ass. Okay, this could be somebody in your family or somebody whatever but like this could be something too that you're just procrastinating on with the akashic records and the page of pentacles in the reverse what else spirit for this three two three on the clock here you guys could be seeing yeah the eight of wands yeah eight of pentacles is the two of cups the temperance so there's like communication here or you're procrastinating on taking action, doing something, but I feel like somebody is trying to like just, yeah, the devil. What's the what's the page of pentacles in the reverse, man? The six of swords. What's page of pentacles in the reverse? Six of swords. The tower. Hmm. So I feel like this tower here has to come because this is divine intervention. This is like some sort of lesson from your past life. You're being guided through this tower. There could be a financial loss that you're taking. Okay, there could be a financial loss that you are taking or that, that's getting ready to happen with the tower. This is like destruction, things falling apart. But it's, it's eye-opening, okay? So if you don't look at the tower as bad, it's, it won't be bad. Yeah, you can get through it. Nine of Wands with the, with the Wheel of Fortune okay you're moving i feel like towards something but you might have to take a hit first and i feel like it's just it's playing out like this because the divine is is letting it play out like that yeah the devil and the ten of pentacles it's something on your like bloodline are they naked but it's something here that is causing stagnation four of pentacles i mean four of cups yeah four of pentacles behind it so okay so, yeah, it's something that's causing stagnation that has to be released, okay? And it has something to do around your Akashic Records. It has something to do with your um, your bloodline, with the, the Ten of Pentacles and the Devil. Or maybe about how you view money or whatever it is, only you know. And if you're procrastinating on jumping in at something that you need not to be doing that right now, you need to be doing it. Okay, whatever this is. Somebody keeps doing like spell work though. What's this tower? Yeah, the two of swords. Yeah, something's being revealed to create balance. Okay, and structure here is what I just heard. Discipline, focus. Okay, two of swords in reverse, Libra moon. So something is being revealed, something is coming out. So I feel like something is not working here because you're going to see something. I feel like for some of you, I just heard your dreams could be revealing something. Okay, so if, you know, if you're having dreams right now, pay attention to them. Yeah. 
this could be like a lot of mental and emotional turmoil that somebody else is going through because they're having a tower shit is falling apart for their ass i don't know but you're being guided here to do something that maybe you're procrastinating on you need to take action and do it but let's see what's the eight of wands here Or this could even be, let me see, what's the Eight of Wands? Yeah, the King of Cups in the reverse, Scorpio energy. What's the Eight of Wands with the King of Cups in the reverse? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's like stingy, they're greedy, or this is somebody here that's emotionally unstable, they're holding on to you from the past. Okay. The devil, the five of pentacles, yeah. Okay. And the ace of cups. Okay, yeah. This is gonna lead to your awakening. I feel like this this could be about love, but you know. Something is pushing you into your purpose, Libra. Whatever this is that's happening to you, you're being pushed into your purpose. I feel like spirit is allowing something to happen. I know it sounds bad, but it's not. I feel like not for what it is that you're getting ready to step into. It's like, you know, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. I know y'all heard that a lot. Okay, I feel like this is what this is. There could be like this entity or this demon here about like, I don't know which demon rules over finances, but there could be like a dark force here that could be hitting your finances right now i feel like for you to open your eyes to see something about your shadow self okay because i feel like that's all that that is it's like those demons and things like that that's that's your shadow side your ego and i feel like you're being exposed to it in order to push you into your purpose you're, you're going to see what you need to change how you need to move so that way you can go into your, whatever your purpose is Okay, I feel like, too, there's a masculine from your past life here that, that's holding on to you. This person is greedy. They're stingy. They're whatever the fuck. Okay. But sometimes I get with this King of Cups, too. This is a dark spirit. King of Cups is my spirit guy card when it's upright. But in reverse, it's my still a spirit card, but it's just dark. And I feel like somebody is sending this out to you. And what you're needing to do with this is you need to look at whatever it's showing you. So that way you can change it up. So you won't have to go through this shit again. It's a lesson. Yeah, so you can take fast action and make changes here. Yeah, it's like, okay. What's, um... What's the moving card in the reverse? Eight of Pentacles, Virgo. What's moving card in the reverse with the Eight of Pentacles? So some of you guys, okay, they had a judgment. So maybe right now is not a good time for you to like move or something. You want to, but I feel like maybe it's not a good time for you to do it. There's a need for you to like work hard and focus on something else maybe. Um, or you could be getting ready to, but it's just like, you just got to stay focused right now. Just focus on one thing at a time. I feel like your energy is scattered. Um, but the Eight of Pentacles with the judgment, yeah, this is inner work here. This could definitely be talking about, too, a new job, a new career path, new employment. It's, it's a part of your purpose with the judgment. This is a renewal period for you or um, with the judgment here, some sort of karmic lesson, too, like I said, around your finances. There's a sudden change here in your security. Okay, I know that could be scary, but... This could be what these people are going through too. They, they're getting their ass kicked for even trying to like tap into your energy like that and swap places or whatever the fuck they try to do. Okay. Yeah, this is um a death and, and a rebirth here. Death card with the um hangman, the four of cups. Yeah, whatever this change is, I feel like... It's causing a bit of discontentment. Like you feel bored or you're, you feel like there's a lack of something or 
but the wheel right here is things are changing for you nine of wands with the ace of swords so there's a need for you to keep moving forward yeah this is this it just feels like spiritual warfare child okay yeah this is what is um this eight of pentacles for uh libra oh child yeah the queen of pentacles something about your work here some of you guys are definitely healers your white witches here okay and i feel like there's a need for you to focus and i feel like something's going to progress for you here and you're very skilled at what you do to be honest but this could be like a new skill you're discovering about yourself or a new project but you're making progress with the inner work that you're doing so if you don't feel like you are you are okay um you could be witchy so you could be doing something yeah as a high priestess as a witch here what's the eight of pentacles with the queen of pentacles um yeah the knight of swords yeah so this is a card of action this is a card of you taking action here being a, some of you guys are a leader in whatever you do for work but this is um big changes that could be coming through for you definitely uh spirit excuse me spirit is uh wanting you to see some sort of opportunity okay with the knight of swords that's someone that's like ambitious they're driven they're a go-getter okay so you could be taking action there's something that you're doing okay or that, that spirit is telling you to do and i feel like you're going to do it what's the judgment yeah the queen of wands in the reverse yeah what's the judgment with the queen of wands in the reverse so yeah there's a bitch competing okay yeah king of swords in the reverse and there's a liar okay just king of swords in the reverse queen of swords in the reverse so this is a karmic couple here somebody this king of swords in the reverse is lying to this queen of wands in the reverse and that's why they're in competition with you somebody here lied to this bitch and told them that they were something that they're not to impress i guess i don't know i feel like it's to get you back or to like yeah to play get back or like three 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 on the clock yeah you could be seeing those synchronicities or to like seek our revenge on you somebody here is like a bully very jealous nasty drama filled type of bitch okay someone here is a dark witch here so these are two idiots from a past life that's going up against you in this lifetime you have to defeat them all the way fully yeah five of wands with the the ten of pentacles and the empress and the temperance yeah this is spiritual warfare <laughs> okay like it is but uh, let me see <laughs> these people man what's the king of swords in the reverse someone here scatterbrain they make the wrong decisions here whoever this is they they don't look at the fine print before they do anything they just make dumbass decisions yeah the ace of cups so this could be this person's new love here i feel like too this person is is oppressed like they, they have feelings for you here but i feel like instead they're coming off as mean rude nasty it's probably because it's queen of wands in reverse they're doing magic on this person but i feel like they nasty anyways they're narcissistic this king of swords in the reverse they nasty to regardless but i feel like this person is like in love with you or they just i feel like they're unaware of who you are too they don't know your spiritual gifts or ranking they only listening to what this whole saying. What's the King of Swords in the reverse with the Ace of Cups? I feel like somebody's in love with you. <laughs> That's what it is. This person is in love with you. Yeah, the devil. They're obsessed. They're obsessed here. They're narcissistic. They're controlling. They're a loser. And they don't want you to get new love. So they could be lying to this person and telling them to gossip about you and try to ruin your reputation in a community to stop you from leveling up or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So who just queen of wands in the reverse? This is a part of whatever your life purpose is, Libra. You you have to go through this here. So if you just change how change your your you know change your focus and don't just give into this energy, just ignore it and keep moving forward. You need to get yeah, confirmation. You need to battle through this, fight through this. That's it. Yeah, nine of swords. What's this queen of wands in the reverse with the nine of swords? Someone is a hoe. Very promiscuous. They're a loser and they're jealous yeah the um five of pentacles
Yeah, somebody here has a scarce mindset. I feel like somebody's been left out in a cold. Okay, they made the wrong decision about you or whatever the case may be, this king of swords. But this person has been left out in the cold and they're nervous. They're struggling. They don't want to struggle with their finances. Okay, I feel like this king of swords in reverse, they're scatterbrained. But they're a narcissist. I feel like they're going on to new love, to be honest. Whoever this is, you know, that's how narcissists move. They don't give a fuck. They're going to go to the, they find their next best supply. Like, that's how they move. That's how they move. So... <laughs> This person, and I feel like this karmic is doing magic on you to try to like obtain something that you have to impress this masculine and all that. While wow, this masculine over here is obsessed. This person is toxic as fuck, but they're going to keep moving on to new suitors. You know what I'm saying? Because everything for them is falling apart. Somebody could be getting kicked out, evicted, no home, no job, no car. Okay, somebody is in a toxic environment. And I feel like the only thing you need to be focused on right now is your work here, Libra. Queen of Pentacles with the Eight of Pentacles. Focus on your work here and keep coming out with new things, okay? Don't say anything until you come out with it and it's copyrighted and stamped, okay? Just keep everything to yourself until you're ready to do it. But I feel like Spirit is guiding you to move forward because this bitch over here is competing. And they're, they're using your energy to do this with this damn narcissist. They're both narcissists. They're both lazy as fuck, codependent. They're raggedy, all of them. So... And this bitch could have a group of hoes doing this or working. I just heard somebody could be working with somebody, mama, their family member to do this to them. It's just like, okay, well, this is all a part of your life purpose here. These people was brought to you literally. Yeah, they can't cuss in the reverse. I feel like that's a dark spirit, though. It's a dark spirit. But this person here is literally, um, these people were brought into your life to help you elevate spiritually. So if you look at it as spiritual evolution and not as like, you know, I'm trying to even change the way that I'm, you know what I'm saying, do my readings more so on focus on helping y'all versus, you know what I'm saying, telling y'all about this shit. I feel like you, I'm going to tell you about it. Clearly, we're going to talk about it, but I just really want to give you more guidance and shit like that to help you through it because it's just like, okay, it, keep talking about it. It's doing what? It's not doing anything. So we have, yeah, number 32, vocaliz vocalization, individuality, inner voice, and assertiveness. Then we have number nine, intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. This is about relationships. So somebody could be wanting to express themselves to you. Somebody could have a nine-year-old. Someone could be 32. Someone, whoever this is, I feel like they want to speak to you here. This masculine. I feel like it's a man. They want to express something to you. This could be them coming towards you like fast. But I feel like, honestly, I don't know. I feel like they're still a liar. I feel like they both competing with each other, but both of them are competing with you. You know what I'm saying? It's just like real weird shit going on. And I don't know. I don't trust them. King of Cups in reverse, King of Swords in the reverse. They're liars. They're liars, all of them. Some of you, you're having an awakening about these people here. Some of y'all having dreams. I'm telling you, y'all had dreams for like three or four days now. Yeah, four days now exposing these idiots coming up in these readings. Like dead ass. So it says, share your true self in full expression. Be who you are, say what you mean, love what you do, and celebrate your creations. So it says, in today's world of etiquette and socially acceptable communication, it is common to close down our expression of self from a very young age. To limit how and what we say, how we move, how we create in the very path we walk in life based on what we have been told is, is appropriate. I'm also getting, yeah, the king of swords in reverse, ace of cups with the devil. This person here is trying to create, like, express themselves with this ace of cups. I feel like they have a lot of repressed feelings that they need to let out. Or they have gifts here too, but this person is unaware of it with the King of Swords in reverse because they have a bad judge of character. They 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 allow different people to come into their life and force them to hide who they really are. Somebody is inauthentic, King of Swords in reverse. They're not a, a, a leader. They're not a risk taker. This person is just, I don't know, but it's a... Um, before we know it, we have put a ceiling on our own visions, appreciate, I mean, expression and fulfillment of our potential. This card is a bright invitation to rekindle the connection and expression of your true voice in life. 
not because it's appropriate or acceptable or because you are worthy or qualified, but because of how good it feels to have your inner light moving through you into the world. This card encourages you to speak up and be heard. Have the courage to express your beliefs and values in your words and in your actions. Have integrity and stand up for, for that which you believe in. Call upon the power of your heart and strength of your will and allow your individuality to shine. In the center of all self-expression is a deep yearning for the higher energy of self to express and move through us. <clears throat> to illuminate our words, deeds, and creations, revealing both our unique gifts and greater calling to connect with the whole. Find a perch and let the song of your individuality be heard across the land. It's time for you to shine. Yeah, I feel like it's your time to shine here in your career path for sure because this bitch is for sure competing with you and whatever you're doing for work. Okay. And this is about a relationship here that you, I feel like you set boundaries with somebody here with personal boundaries and relationships here. This is who you have to set boundaries with because of who they around. It's like somebody here needs to grow up. They need to grow up and they're not, so. Something about self-expression. I feel like you, you're you not gonna be silenced anymore or whatever the fuck, right? You're just not, or you shouldn't be. Give me a card here, Spirit, that's in alignment with this spread for Libra. Give me a card here that's in alignment with this spread for Libra. So we have Archangel Zedekiel, Transmutation, Mercy, and Violet Flame. Yeah. Then we have Archangel Sandalfon, Music, Earth Star, and Answered Prayers. Your Earth Star chakra is your base. I mean, under your feet. And your Soul Star, I think, is your crown chakra. I mean, it's above your crown chakra. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what the Archangel Zedekiel is saying. So it says Archangel Zedekiel's name means righteousness of God. And he is the angel of transmutation, which means he can take one thing and completely transform it into something else. Archangel Zedekiel is one of the keepers of the violet flame, a powerful spiritual tool you can invoke and visualize moving through your physical body or fields or home to transmute any negative or stuck energy. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're feeling is stuck energy and it has something to do with you expressing how like um expressing yourself through your work possibly somebody's like trying to silence you or stop you from like elevating with whatever you're doing okay but it says archangel zedekiel is also the angel of karma mercy and freedom he works with the soul star chakra oh okay so that's soul star that's earth star with archangel sandalfon okay so this is above your crown yeah to help you activate and clear your connection to source and your guides and angels. So the Oracle, it says clear and transmute all negativity and stuck stagnant energy that you have picked up that has been sent to you or that you have created, then move forward with ease and grace. Yeah, so it says love and relationships. Show mercy and forgiveness to others, but look after your own energy in the process. For your work, it says clear and transmute any negative energy you have picked up or are picking up in your workplace. Visualize your workspace being cleared by the violet flame daily. Clear your own energy after work each day. For your home, it says clear the energy of your home. Visualize the violet flame clearing through your spaces. Clear with sound, incense, or essential oils. Okay, that's where Archangel Sandalfon comes in with music. Okay, then Goddess Gaia is behind that. Okay, so something about music here. Listen to high vibrational music. Somebody here could be an artist. Okay, music could be your, your um, I know for me when I got my, okay, never mind, I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but yeah i'm not gonna say it <laughs> i'm thinking like i'm not some shit i'm just not gonna say but um for your money it says forgive yourself for your past money mistakes and focus on the future yeah i feel like that's coming up too something about your money it says, for your well-being, take a long energy cleansing salt bath with essential oils, flowers, and candles. And for your spirituality, it says, work with the violet flame as part of your spiritual practice to clear and transmute all negativity you may have picked up or created. Call on Archangel Zedekiel to send the violet flame to you. Visualize this violet flame of light clearing through your body and your aura. Okay, yeah. So working with Archangel Zedekiel at this time would be good. Maybe go to your altar or... Call on Archangel, this Archangel through prayer, or whatever you do. But yeah, this this energy is like, it's chaotic. It just, it feels chaotic, okay? 
let me see. Something is calling me to read that one. So I'm not gonna ignore it. I'm gonna get my ass beat if I do. So let's see. Archangel Sandalphon is the angel who can deliver your prayer to the divine on your behalf. He is the angel of music and the bridge between heaven and earth. Working with the Earth Star Chakra, Archangel Sandalphon can help you activate and ground your energy into the earth in a deeper and more conscious and connected way. This can help you to stay grounded in the truth of who you are and in your own soul purpose and path. Archangel Sandalphon is a powerful angel to call upon when, whenever you feel your prayers are not being heard. So yeah, remember your last reading, Libra? We talked about you pulled the Earth Star Chakra and the Soul Star Chakra. So it's coming out again. And these are archangels that represent it, those chakras. Okay, so it says the Oracle. You are a bridge between heaven and earth. You are here to seed and anchor the light on this earth and make a positive difference to the world. So it says for your love and relationships, don't lose yourself in your relationships. Stay true to who you are by staying grounded in your own truth and in the earth beneath you. For your work, it says ask for what you want. Talk to Archangel Sandalphon and the divine. Say it out loud. Write it down. Get clear with yourself and the universe about your goals and dreams. For your home, if you are looking for a new home, be sure to ask for exactly what you want. If you are happy where you are, remember to ground the energy of your home just like you ground your own energy. So, okay, yeah, you could be wanting a new place. It's in progress, Eight of Pentacles. But I feel like whatever these people stole from you, they have to give it back. Okay, like, period. Somebody could, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Four of Wands upright. They could be losing a property. For sure. But it's a, um, for money, plant seeds now for what you would like to harvest later for your well-being. Ground your, yourself by getting outside, eating well, eating raw whole foods, and moving your body. Music is therapy. Yeah, and then it says for spirituality, work with the earth star chakra and anchor your light into the earth like an earthling, like an earthing rod. This will help you to be able to receive divine transmissions. Visualize the earth star chakra as a ball of light beneath your feet activated and connecting you to the earth yeah so right now you need to work on transmuting energy and getting grounded these these um gateways and and, and things are opening up for you here because it's time for you to step into your purpose just period whatever this is you're doing for work you're, you're meant to do it it's time for you to elevate okay and somebody here just doesn't want it to happen whatever okay so that's fine <laughs> That's, it is what it is, man. Give me a car here, spirit, that's in alignment with um, this spread for Libra, please. 737 on the timer I just saw. So we have coagulation, soul ascension. Yeah, number 38. Bottom of the deck is Black Moon, Lilith, and Leo. Allow your light to shine. Period. Period. Okay. So it says, after and during a period of intense purges, transformation, inner growth, and spiritual work, this is the phase of alchemy when you begin to truly embody your sun, soul's gold, and ancient alchemy. When the coagulation card appears, you are empowered in your purpose and channeling the energy of your sun sign. The sun in astrology represents the life purpose and alignment in your birth chart. New opportunities, life decisions, and change, changes in direction are manifesting for you at a faster rate. When you are in this phase, be mindful of perfectionist habits and gently release them as there is no perfection. Practice presence. Associated with gold and the sun, coagulation is when you are nearing the end of the magnum opus. This is the sixth phase of the alchemical magnum opus, which is a culmination of all the ascension and healing work you've done thus far. You have found and embodied your higher self, light, and true essence in this lifetime. Hmm. So coagulation, coagulation phase shadow work. Creating and maintaining a daily meditation practice is key when you reach this phase. This allows you to remain in the present moment and heal any lingering shadows that can disrupt your light. Okay, yeah. So meditation is key. Okay, meditation is key. Whatever that is for you. Your soul's gold is shining through. Allow it to emanate and shine for the world to see. Yep. 
So something big is happening for you, Libra. I feel like it's it, it feels kind of like rocky and scary. That's what the feeling I'm getting is. But I feel like you got it. Just do what the oracles are telling you to do. They gave a perfect layout of what is happening and what you need to be doing. So this was your reading, Libra. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my readings, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.